So did this Democrat intentionally shoot this reporter? Or was the reporter hit with fragmentation when the Democrat fired the weapon? Either way, you can pay me to go to the range with a Democrat. And if you value your life, you probably shouldn't go to the range with Democrats either. And I'm going to explain to you exactly why. So some of these articles are going to say injured while shooting. They're going to say hit by fragmentation. They're going to say that he actually shot him. They're going to say all of these variety of different things. But what it all boils down to, a Democrat had a firearm in their, in their hands and they squeezed the trigger. A shot went off. And the result of that shot was that a person was injured. There is no need to mention this particular Democrat by name, but you guys are going to see the articles on screen. You're going to know exactly which Democrat I'm talking about. Apparently this particular Democrat is running for Senate and this is probably one of these cranked up photo ops where they go out there and pretend that they're one of us. I'm going to tell you exactly why in this video, why I would never go to a range with a Democrat and why you should never go to the range with a Democrat, at least not if you value your life. The number one reason is that they're simply just not a part of the culture. They don't understand gun culture. They don't understand the memes. They don't understand the way of life because they don't live it. You're not at the range with Democrats. When you go to the range normally, why would you start? Meanwhile, we know some students as young as five are hoping lawmakers hear their concerns. Now, these students are asking for stricter gun laws. My friend was there at Covenant that day and saw some horrible stuff. She even wants to put bulletproof glass in her house. This shouldn't be something kids have to worry about. From a very young age, Democrats teach their children that weapons are bad and that you should not have weapons around. And as a result, result of this upbringing, they simply do not possess the basic firearm knowledge, know-how, and ability as some of their counterparts. Listen, if you go up, grow up as a Democrat, the best you're going to get is that you're going to go out into an alley somewhere and fire off a few rounds. But when you're growing up as a Republican, you're going out, you're hunting, you're learning all the basic PMI from a very young age. So you're versed. Hey guys, I'm Autumn. <laughs> Verse. I'm 10. Verse. And it's a part of your culture. It's a part of your upbringing. But furthermore, Democrats simply don't understand the basic current firearm regulations and laws that we have in place today. So I, I can't believe that anybody can walk into a gun store and buy an automatic weapon. No, absolutely. I'm sure you guys heard recently uh, the number one, the biggest gun owner in America got caught funneling guns to the cartel. Did you hear about that? No, I didn't. It was the government. It was the U.S. government. But they do have more guns than anybody. These are the people that are trying to get all of these types of gun registration, background check, rec red flag laws and things like that when they don't understand we already do background checks and all these other things are completely unconstitutional because they don't understand basic regulations. The hypocrisy extends to when they're actually handling firearms, as we see with the aforementioned Senate candidate that we talked about earlier. Lastly, and most importantly, um, and the reason for making this video, the reason why I would certainly never, ever go to the range with a Democrat is that they're going to get you shot. They're going to get you shot. They're going to get you injured. You might get maimed. It's not going to be safe to go to the range with Democrats. Anytime Democrats are handling weapons, they're usually leaving a wake of destruction. King County prosecutors have filed first degree murder charges against a man they say is responsible for killing 19 year old Lorenzo Anderson outside of the so-called CHOP or Capitol Hill organized protest zone in June. On June 20th, Horace Lorenzo Anderson was shot and killed in Capitol Hill. He was 19. Wednesday, King County prosecutors charged Marcel Long with first degree murder. That witness told police he also had a gun and began firing it in the air to distract Long and quote, save the guy's life. The witness told authorities Long initially looked over at him before looking back at Anderson and firing. Anderson was shot four times. So the reality is there is no way that you will find me at a range with a Democrat. I would never go to the range with a Democrat. If a Democrat invited me to the range, I would not go and I would not invite a Democrat to the range. In fact, if I know there are Democrats at the range, I'm going to stay as far up range as possible. And I believe everyone else should do the same. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if it's not about topics that I cover in this video or in other videos, then just don't talk to me. That is all.